guys, welcome back to Super Slick Slimes. I'm Ella, and today I'm going to be hiding vegetables in a dessert. So the three things I'm going to be making is zucchini bread, chocolate avocado mousse, and black bean brownies. So I think the most common thing is zucchini bread, and the other two are like really weird. This is mostly for my sister because I want to see if she can tell that there is vegetables in the dessert because what four-year-old wants to eat vegetables? And I think this will actually help me because I will like vegetables more if they're in dessert. I don't know. I don't know, let's just get on with this. So first we are going to start off with black bean brownies. And we're kind of in a rush because they're gonna be home soon. So let's get started. So we're going to get 15 ounces of black beans that are rinsed and drained and put them into this. No, they're falling onto the... We're gonna put this in the fruit processor and do it until it's a rough paste. Paste. We're going to um, crack three eggs. Why is it burning? Then we're gonna measure three tablespoons of flavorless oil into the bowl. And we're going to add the black bean paste. I'm really... They're here? Yeah. Why? Can you get this away? Is there any, is there any um, witnesses of the black beans? Are there any witnesses of the black beans? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm scared. You can literally see the black beans in here. In a separate bowl, combine cocoa powder, sugar, baking powder, salt. Oh, we're going to add the cocoa powder to add. Oh, I'm spilling the sugar. And if you want more detailed recipe of this, I don't know why you'd want to make it, but if you do, um, then it will be in the description box below. Half teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yes, yes, we did it, guys. So see this. Um, see these dry ingredients. We're gonna add them into the wet mixture. And now, um, my family will see the black beans as noticeably, and then they won't smell it as, as noticeably because they'll smell the chocolate, right? Hi. Hi. I love you. mixture looks like. I forgot the vanilla. Good thing I caught on. No cake or brownies or anything is good without vanilla. It's the best thing in the world. You know the coronavirus is coming around when you get this big of uh, a chocolate chip bag. I'm doing a best um, chocolate brownies in the world video oh, yeah. tutorial. So I'm using Pam. Pam. Not sponsored. Off to the oven they go. Whoa, I was so comfortable. So actually, I forgot to put this on, so that's what I'm doing now. Okay, guys, I think they might be going to try the brownies. It's after dinner. So I'm going to go hide the camera. I wonder how they turned out. They're like gluten-free. Wait, what happened when I was talking about? How is it? Good. You love it? Mm -hmm. Good job, Bob. Say thank you, Ella. Ella, you did a good job. Thank you. Wait, my thumbs up. My mom does. Another brownie? Yeah. Try it. It's really good. It's really good? Yeah. Another one. Another one. It's so good. Don't you think his shirt's weird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> From zero to ten. One. Eight. 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 They're black bean brownies. <laughs> it is the moment of truth. Actually, I don't mind them as much as I thought I would. So yeah, let's get on to the next healthy recipe. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to be making 
chocolate mousse. We're going to place four ounces of chocolate chips into a microwave safe bowl. We are going to place it in the microwave for 15 second intervals and stir it in between. We're going to add the melted chocolate. Now we are going to add three tablespoons of cocoa powder. We're going to add a fourth a cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, I have no more vanilla extract. I found more vanilla extract, so I'm very happy. We're going to add a pinch of salt. Now we are going to mix it all together. It says if it is not sweet enough to add the sweetener, and it's definitely not sweet enough, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is probably not as flavorful as I would have wanted, but that's okay because we're gonna put whipped cream on top. Do you like it? <clears throat> we should put it up. <laughs> this is something different than just chocolate. But does it taste like a chocolate? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It does, so yeah. It tastes so good. Yeah. That is whipped cream. Is it good meal? Mm hmm Yay! Okay guys, so it is our third recipe and our last, and we're going to be making a zucchini bread. So this isn't really like hiding vegetables because you can see them. First you're gonna preheat the oven to 325. Next, add in all of your dry ingredients except the sugar and sift them together. Three cups of flour. So actually don't put it in this bowl, put it in a different bowl first. One teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon, three teaspoons vanilla extract. One. Stir it all together. Why did I do? Crack three eggs. Add them to the mixer. Add one cup of vegetable oil. And you are supposed to add the oil next, but I don't know why, but I added it into this. Then add two and a quarter cups of white sugar. Now you're gonna add the dry stuff. Next, you're going to add in your chocolate chips. Now comes the unfun part. You have to grate two cups of zucchini. One cup. I don't know what happened, but I did put in the two cups, so. This is how it looks. Wow. 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 And this is my workstation. So I guess we lost our loaf pan. I literally found it the day after. So we are going to use a bun pan. Okay, I'm not going to go. What were you trying to do? I don't know. I'm going to go first. You were trying to do a thing. Oh, I was. But I don't want that. It's a lot of cake. All right, I'm pooped. Is it good? Mm -hmm. One out of ten, what do you recommend it? Uh, one. Okay. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to be part of the Super Slick Slime Squad. The hardest one that I made was definitely the zucchini bread because it gave me a workout and was time consuming and was very messy, but it was also the best one, and my whole family agrees. So I definitely suggest to make zucchini bread, it's the best thing ever. And if you put like butter on it and like put it in the microwave for a couple seconds in the morning, for breakfast. Kind of a review on the video. The black bean brownies weren't my favorite. Maybe it's because I knew black beans were in them, but they like stuck to your fingers and like wouldn't get out of the pan and it was just really bad. So I don't recommend them. The chocolate avocado mousse, it wasn't that bad, but I think I could have like grounded the avocados more if that makes sense because there's like tiny chunks and it was so gross. And I think I learned that I was slightly allergic to avocados. Lastly, it's the zucchini bread, and you have to make it.
it's like amazing and you just eat it and you don't feel bad because you think there's a vegetable in it even though it's probably unhealthy anyway so all three of the recipes are down in the description box below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye